it's important because today, as before, agriculture are transforming and uh, we want to look at the diversity of uh, the types of agriculture and the diversity of transformation they undergo. Maybe the first, um, the first point I would like to highlight is the fact that our initial hypothesis of um, disconnected uh, information system regarding agriculture is verified. This would be the most important because on one side we have uh, information system that document the assets of the farmers and other information system document um, their income or the performance of their, of their system. And uh, this information system is completely disconnected. Maybe the next step would be to consolidate what has been done in the different countries, meaning that uh, our framework has to be uh, tightened and to be more, uh, I would say, coherent across countries, so that uh, in each country you can uh, have the same type of data that correspond to the same uh, unit of measurement. In terms of definition of uh, the household, of the farm, this has to be um, across country in a very coherent way so we can uh, make comparison and even inside the country we have to be more, I would say, more rigorous in terms of data collection, in terms of the unit of, of observation and the type of assets we are going to measure and the type of outputs. So the, the main challenge is to reconcile the assets dimension, the family dimension of farming and the type of performance these units get from their work. First of all, I think uh, we have to, um, to come with a new idea in terms of information collection. Information collection has been for policymaker, it has been for researcher, it has been for students. But we have to collect information that will be useful for the farmers, for their organization, in order to better understand their, their own farming system, their own performances, and how they can, through policy, better um, increase their assets to be more productive, to be more sustainable, and finally to come out of poverty. You see that, uh, for instance, in, in Senegal, in the southern part of Senegal, they have collected new data, and uh, these data show that people that were able to diversify, I would say, to, to come out uh, from the usual uh, rain-fed crops, they could diversify in uh, horticulture, they could diversify in uh, raising small stock, in uh, fruits, uh, fruit production, these are better off, meaning that if you can improve the access to different types of assets to move out of the, I would say, the, the common bulk of uh, rain-fed cultivation to go to more high-value crops. It doesn't mean a lot of investment, but for some of these people, these investments are crucial to come out of poverty. I think then there is in, in different countries they have formed a committee, committee that bring together farm organization, bring together NGOs, bring together researchers, bring together all kinds of people that are interested with uh, improving the uh, livelihoods of uh, farmers, so they can bring they can come together under this uh, committee to manage this uh, new information and so to reduce the time. Be, be, between data production, data collection, processing and use of it. I think uh, if you take the example of the census, you have census of agriculture every 10 years. So once you do the census, you got the first result three or four years after. So this is a, a, a huge gap and you don't get the performance with the census. So it's a huge gap between when you produce the data and when you can use it for policy. Three, four years for people that are under poverty situation is not possible anymore.
oh, I think this, these results can be used. Uh, of course, uh, what has been presented this morning is a little bit uh, reduced because of time constraints, but in the reports, you can have more detail in terms of assets. Each category of farmers has been described in terms of assets. So we know for each category their performances and the type of assets they have at their disposal. And most, most of the time, the financial assets is the key to improve the, inf the, the assets of the different time in, in terms of physical assets, in terms of social capital, in terms of all that will allow these people to be more productive and to be, I would say, uh, more rich. I, I think hey, we have to, to come up with rich people, rich farmers. This would be the goal. <laughs>